We've all heard the term fake news, but the popular narrative around it often leaves out important nuances. First, fake news is not new. It's been around for as long as humans have been able to communicate. Second, fake news comes in two forms, misinformation and disinformation. Misinformation is incorrect or misleading information that gets spread, intentionally or not. This happens all the time. We're human. We forget things or we retweet something that we didn't know was inaccurate. Disinformation, on the other hand, is the spreading of information that is deliberately misleading or biased information, manipulated narrative or facts, propaganda. The key difference between the two is intent. In the traditional media landscape, the editors were the gatekeepers. Information passed through multiple layers of editorializing, fact-checking, and rewrites. And though imperfect, there was a reasonable expectation that the information we were receiving was quality. On social media, there are no editors, and quality is measured by likes and shares. Adding insult to injury, quality journalism is expensive and time-consuming. It takes talent, production, investigation, editing, fact-checking. But creating content for social media is cheap, and anyone with a consistent stream of content can build a following and even a reputation. The new model is quantity over quality, but elevating popularity over facts is dangerous. Misinformation presented in an eye-catching meme can spread like wildfire, certainly more so than a press release from the CDC. That popularity gives it legitimacy, and social media algorithms can be easily hijacked by bad actors who push disinformation to serve their own interests. How to spot media bias and misinformation? Well, as digital tools become more advanced and cheaper, low quality information gets harder to detect, even for digital natives who might think themselves immune to misinformation. There are some quick ways that you can improve your media literacy right now. First, Keep in mind that digital platforms often deliver partisan news and conspiracy sites alongside articles from traditional media sources. Association does not equal credibility. When examining content, ask yourself some key questions. Is it a reputable media outlet? If so, which way does it lean on the political spectrum? If you're not sure of the media outlet, check their website, not their followers. Does the outlet have a masthead, staff directory, who funds them? Do they share their journalist standards or code of ethics anywhere? Is it news or opinion?